Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today we're going to be taking a real quick look and an overview at this Nintendo Switch box holder that I made for my Nintendo Switch. As you can see, it's just a two-tone layered design. It has a lip here to hold it together, and it has my Nintendo Switch in the inside here. It's a made for the original size Nintendo Switch, as you can see, not the Nintendo Lite, but you can always make adjustments if you need to, um, but you will have to take some time to make adjustments. To complete this project, you will need a small dab of glue, something like this, and you will also need a rubber tip hammer. Looks something like this here. A rubber tip hammer, you're going to use that and basically snap all of the um, actual tabs together on all of these boxes. So there's three boxes total. There's this top lid, there's the inside lid to the top lid, and then this outside lid on the bottom here. When you take your actual Nintendo Switch out, there's three layers in the inside. You can add or remove layers as you need it and as you like the fit. Just keep in mind that inside lid of the top lid will raise or lower and you may have a gap that shows if you add too many. So for mine, I have three layers. The two inside layers here are just two hollow layers that support the switch. The bottom layer has cutouts for switch game cartridges. You can add your games in there and then two ovals um, the two ovals are going to be for the actual triggers on your switch so it can sit down in there and not be tilted too far forward that it hits the top of the lid. And then lastly, on the inside of the top lid, I have a nice foam piece here to catch any of the, um, the little joysticks on the switch here to protect that. And then, um, like I said, there is two layers here, so I'm going to pull this apart. What you want to do is add a drop of glue right on top here. Glue these lids together once you have it. It looks something like this. And I'll have a little lip there, and that's what holds it together. Then you can close it and snap it together, and you've got a completed box. So that's pretty much a quick look at the design. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll catch you guys in the next one.